While other states have not been inventory to the extent that Maryland has thus far, it can be argued that Maryland experienced more battles, skirmishes, and raids than any other state. Thus far, we have documented over 640 historic sites in the state of Maryland, covering every single county in the state of Maryland. I know of no other region, no other theater of war that comes close to that than it does the Chesapeake Bay, and in particular, the state of Maryland. Both shores of the Tuxen River suffered as much or more than any other region of the state. No question about it. The Southern Maryland region has a tremendous resource base rooted in the War of 1812. And lastly, how will Maryland and this region preserve and interpret these resources? And so my last slide is we're very fortunate to have this resource base, but what are our challenges? Number one, lack of research. It's very possible that some of the questions that we have will never be answered. Was Maxwell Hall ever occupied by the British? We may never know. But we need to be diligent and do additional research to try to find the answer to that. The biggest challenge that we have, in my opinion, is lack of interpretation. I've given you many examples already of that. The other challenge we have is that Many of these sites, and I'm sad to say most of these sites, are on private property or on restricted military lands. So we have no chance of getting people in there to actually see these sites. But we do have many opportunities, and as Bill has already talked about, there's a lot of excitement preparing for the bicentennial. And so hopefully we'll be able to add interpretation and interpretive displays. We can also offer driving, bicycle, and boat excursion tours reenactments beyond what we've already done so far. And cooperative programs among the sites, among the counties, within Maryland, and even within the different states. So with that, I will close. And Donna, 